Hey, what up fellow Paxians and other gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the ridiculously broken magic system in Pax Day. Trust me, the spells in this game are absolutely insane in PvE right now, and we're about to show you why. So buckle up, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and let's dive into the spells dominate Pax Day. See that very satisfying fireball hit right there. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's break it down why magic is completely wrecking the meta right now. Okay, first off, let's talk about the main culprits. The spells in Pax Day are on a whole new level, and when you combine certain abilities, the game turns into an absolute slaughter fest. Right here, we've got the most OP combo spells that are completely dominating the PvE section of the game and severely underperforming in PvP. And I'm talking about Pilgrim's Fire Tier 1. Casts an elemental homing projectile that deals fire damage and briefly sets the target on fire. This thing's got a small alpha damage output, but the main thing is the burning damage over time it creates on the second or third hit of the spell. Pairing it with Mesmerize Tier 1, you're practically untouchable and don't even need any other armor or weapons apart from the clothing and armor pieces that give you these two spells. It's like having God Mode on. And here you see the poor native Sebian taking fire damage and no hits are exchanged. I'm further combining those two spells with Pacify Tier 1 you're good to go on groups of wolves too. Let's see how it works. Okay, here we pacify the guy at the back, so we don't pull him on the fireball. Okay, the other guy's pacified, and check this out. One fireball, Bez. Wait for the cooldown. Second fireball goes off. There. Remez. And look at him burn. You literally don't even have to try. The damage over time on these spells is off the charts. And the best part? You don't have to move anywhere and you never take a hit yourself. Next up. Just finish him off. Go and get your loot. Because the other guy is still pacified. Okay, we've talked about PvE so far, but what about PvP? I mean, the current spell meta is basically unfair for a pure caster build though. Fireball works on players just like on PvE mobs, but Mez and Pacify don't work on players in PvP at all. Melee fighters are equipped with fire resistance foods like Pop Smeed, Weak Mead, Grape Syrup and other stuff. And they just have to run up to a caster and hit them. Fireballs can even be parried by shields. And yes, that fire damage can be negated by these foods. This is what's breaking the game right now. The balance. It's gone. The spell casters are on top in PvE, but in PvP they're absolute underdogs. Players are getting frustrated, PvP is getting one-sided, and dungeon runs are just a joke with this much power. Dungeon bosses are a breed. There are people soloing dungeons and farming bosses for the relic drops. Where's the challenge? Where's the skill? Right now the magic meta has totally flipped the balance of the game. When even the top players are saying if you're not using spells you're doing it wrong for PvE, but in PvP as a caster you might as well be playing on insane hard mode. So what's the takeaway here? Right now, spells are completely breaking Backstage meta in PvE. Whether you love it or hate it, there's no denying that the current balance is out of whack. Personally, I'm having fun with the chaos, but I've got a feeling those changes are coming soon. So what do you guys think? Should the devs tone down the spell meta, or do you think it's all part of the fun? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to smash that like button if you're enjoying these Pax Day breakdowns. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next OP update. Until next time, keep casting those OP spells in PvE and wear decent armor and weapons, not forgetting your buff foods, drinks and tonics to dominate the PvP.
battlefield. This has been Batool Gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.